Well, we finally got some form of dashboard set up here. Got your main battery, your blower starter, your um, turbo trap door. I'll show you that in a second. Turbo oil pump, fuel pump, and then injector solenoid. I'll explain why I have that set up like that also. Um, because that's going to run the afterburner and the fuel injection for the turbo barrel itself. It's going to run both off of one fuel pump. I think it'll work mint. Um, both be boost referenced as well. Also, um, like I said, this uh, trap door, it's a choke cable you pull. Follow it along, goes to a Jaguar bell crank for a uh, V12 throttle body thing. Goes all the way up to a 4 inch or 105 millimeter throttle body, pull the choke, closes it up, open it once it's running, it's also a emergency shut off, but you have to pull it, it's naturally in an open state, so um, I was kind of annoyed by the way it started on oil, having the vacuum piece getting stuck to the intake of the turbo and stalling it twice trying to pull it off and literally shaking this thing like a fucking a baby um so i made this instead uh what else do i have to do i need to get a vacuum hose to go to the uh fuel regulator so that's boost referenced um which i might not even need this run um I'm not going to put it on. So, I'm going to start this thing on firewood, or uh, try to, at least. It is pretty wet out. And this thing does not like starting in the rain. Not when it's probably full of water. So, uh, anyway, we're going to start it on the firewood, get a good fire going. And then, as it's like running out or spooling down, I want to try and click on the fuel and see if it can transfer over so i need to hook all the fuel stuff up and do some ground cables and such and make sure all this shit's gonna work but i also need to get warm for a couple minutes so uh wow it's cold out here it's pretty raw it ain't it ain't that pleasant folks um what else we got we got an oil uh fuel pressure gauge fuel pressure oil pressure um so i checked it and Initially with the factory settings on the hmm, On the uh, the EFI regulator it was around 50 pounds, so I brought it down to 25 pounds It still is gonna be too much fuel. I think I think I need Four pounds of fuel pressure for four pounds of boost pretty sure that's how this works um, I'm doing minimal research on this because I'd like to just figure it out on my own because it's really enjoyable this way but um yeah, so let's get a fire going. Now well, we got some heat going. I think I got to tighten up some fittings. But, um, <clears throat> so fuel pump. It might be a little low on fuel. And then injector. So. Pretty good. Like I said, it might be a little low on fuel. I might try and find some to uh, put in there, but it does seem to light up. Um. It might even like the, the more fuel pressure. So it might be something that kicks on like full throttle or something. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let this burn a little bit more, get some more ash going, and then load it up. What I'm gonna do is actually stack the wood all over this thing so it kind of dries up. So I forgot to record the startup of the firewood run. So you don't get to see that. You get to see the tail end of the run. Um, 
where I start playing with turning the injector nozzle on and off just to see what would happen. And you also get to see the the oil run, if you will, running it on the oil itself, no firewood. Um, you're going to see me playing with the wastegate because 25 pounds of fuel pressure is still too much for an idle state on this thing, but when it's cranked up and spooling like a motherfucker, it takes the fuel. Um, it doesn't backfire with all this fuel, which is kind of interesting. Um, you'll see the vacuum cleaner is hooked up on it for a long time. It is still blowing, but it was sustaining itself. I just, in the moment, I never unhooked it. Um, when the 4-inch throttle body is open, though, the air from the vacuum doesn't do anything. You physically have to close that off for the vacuum to actually blow any air. So it, was, it wasn't doing anything to make the thing run, if you will. Um, but that's the deal, and I might include... A couple other passes I did the other day. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so let's get back to it.
Mama. Holy crap, Ola. So that was a pretty, uh, pretty fun run. Um, we're not injecting fuel into the afterburner. We're literally just injecting fuel into the chamber. Um, so we're running 25 pounds of fuel pressure. I doubt the camera angle was good to pick this up, but that should have been moving because that's hooked to that. Um, 25 pounds of fuel pressure is still too much for this thing. So what I had to do was stand here and hold the wastegate all the way closed. Um, Turbojet doesn't function with a wastegate. They use the fuel flow to do their RPM. So that just means I have too much fuel. 25 pounds is a lot. Um, once I held it wide open, it, it seemed to clear up pretty good. And um, my trap door seemed to work really well. Um, it, it's just because this is a switch here. I'd rather just have this wired up to this switch here. So I don't have to deal with like that. But um, it did work pretty good. Holding it closed and then spooling it and then letting it go. But because I had to give it more air to uh, pick up the fuel that it has, um, it was kind of fumbly. Um, you know, once I cut the fuel pressure down to like five pounds... It is probably going to run on its own when you just click the switch. But, um, damn, I didn't think it was going to rain like this. I think that's it. Um, I don't think we got any burnable gas. But let's see. I don't think so. I think I have too much shit in the tank. I filled it like three quarters full. I think it needs to be about halfway. It seemed to work better halfway. But um, it's raining. My phone's probably going to get soaked and say it can't charge again. So um, that's the end of that. I'm going to do another pass off camera because I just want to see this thing run. And um, I'm hoping there's enough fuel left. And it feels like there's a lot. I got to see what there is for wood in here because it looks like the fire went out. <sighs> yeah, it looks like it went out. Anyway, so. Uh, if you like what you see, do what you do, and um, probably the next time we'll start coming up with an idea to inject the fuel into this afterburner. I have like a trident, like a flux capacitor looking fucking design that I think will like, oh, oh, the fucking swirl port, fucking oof. Anyway, done. Ain't nothing down that way.